It's a tad bit late, but I want to discuss some Overwatch 2 ranked shenanigans. Shenanigans perpetrated by the devs of Overwatch 2. Because what's crazy to think about is as an Overwatch 1 player and Overwatch 2 player, I don't understand why it's so different in terms of the ranked systems. Not the 5v5 versus 5v6 or 6v6, that's whatever. More so, basically removing rank from ranked. It just doesn't make any sense to me. And what's really crazy and kind of sad is they've made the bar so low. They have put it beneath the ground that anything they do to slightly improve the system is seen as a massive W, as a massive change, as a listening to the community like, thank you so much, Daddy Blizzard, for making these massive changes. When it's like, bro, they just slightly made it less worse than it was. It was really bad, and now it's slightly less worse. Still nowhere near as good as it was before. Now, in terms of removing rank from ranked, it is insane. Overwatch 1, you can see everyone's rank in the matches. You load into a match, if no one's doing placements, it'll give you the SR average of your team, enemy team, show everyone's rank, and if you were top 500, it'd show you that. And they had cooler looking icons too, which may be subjective, but I'm pretty sure most folks can agree the new icons freaking suck. I'm not sure if they made them bad on purpose, but like, hey guys, the icons suck. Don't worry about your rank. Feel good. Keep playing. Don't worry. All the icons suck, so rank doesn't matter. I think that's like the goal of Overwatch 2 is basically saying, show you that rank doesn't matter and they don't care. That's what, I, that's the vibe I've gotten so far. Now, they also made it to where in Overwatch 1, you win a game, lose a game, your rank changes. There is no have to win seven games, win five games, which may be like, no, that sounds crazy. Who would ever do that? Make you win five or seven games to see your rank change? No game does that. Well, here in Overwatch 2, we like innovation. We like to be the uh, forerunners of new, interesting mechanics. And in this case, we have that. <laughs> you had to win seven games, bro, to see your rank change. Now it's five, though. And what's insane is that because it went from seven games to five, and I had to win two less games, that is seen as a massive improvement. And it is. But it's a massive improvement on making something that was terrible now a little bit less worse. But it's nowhere near what it was, which was win one game, rank change. Lose one game, rank change. You draw, rank stay same. It's freaking crazy. And what's also wild, rank in Overwatch 2 means, it doesn't mean anything, man, because the devs have already said that there's, S, there's what is it, MMR and SR. So MMR is your actual rank, but you can't see it. It's invisible. It's not visible to you. It's not visible to your teammates, not visible to your enemies. It's visible to the developers. And that is what basically determines your matches. Your SR is your visible rank. And that is an issue in itself because it's like why am i playing a ranked mode that's using a rank that i can't see no one can see but it's determining my matches that's why you see like in my case where i was plat two or i think that no i was like diamond three i was in nothing but grandmaster games which i'm okay with because you know what i'm saying i'm freaking kind of cracked at the game but other folks are also in the same spot and they're like why am i here i shouldn't be here and you have the opposite happening where I wouldn't say opposite per se, but you have matches that just aren't very balanced at all. You will legit get actual plat players in Grandmaster games, people that should not be there. Folks that were plat and or diamond in Overwatch 1 and are plat and or diamond in Overwatch 2. They have not improved and that's fine, but they shouldn't be in a Grandmaster game. It just fundamentally makes it to where ranked means absolutely nothing. And that's what the developers or whoever's in charge is basically trying to tell us like hey guys we don't show you your rank we don't give you fair matches we don't give you rewards like you get like what is it the sr currency for making for buying gold guns but let's be real it's like that's neat but it's not really worth it in the in the end of uh at all because a lot of folks have mains once you get like 3k comp points you're just like okay i'm done who cares anymore but they did all those things <laughs> and they make you have to win five games to see your rank change at all basically what overwatch did is they focused pretty much everything all of their efforts on retention and they didn't give an actual single care about enjoyability the player perception of the game mode 
optics, none of that. They couldn't care less. Now, they're trying to sort of turn it back because they're realizing that, bro, folks don't care. Like, folks don't want to play a ranked mode when it feels like it doesn't matter. Because rank was effectively quick play plus, and it still is right now. They're saying they're going to fix it. I don't see how. They're saying that, hey, don't worry, guys. We're going to add back uh, SR averages at the start of a match. That's neat. But it's just, it's wild to me, man. It's wild how far it fell for no reason. Because the question I always have is, why did it change? Why change it so much? Why go from the cool icons we had before to garbage? You could have changed the icons, but it's pretty easy to see. It just doesn't really seem right. And not to mention that the current UI for ranked, it's not even centered, bro. <laughs> there is almost no effort that's being put forward to make it seem like it's a polished experience playing ranked in Overwatch 2. Like nothing about it is like, yeah, I play ranked. What about it? I'm pretty good. It's pretty good. Like nothing about it, man. There's nothing pleasant about it either. It's crazy to me that that's the reality. And I just don't know why it changed aside from trying to chase retention and only retention. How can we have players play longer, play more, and feel like they shouldn't stop playing as early as they might want to? Which that sort of, that last part, not giving up fast is sort of the uh, goal of the having to win matches. Let's say you win three matches or even four matches, right? You're like, damn, I'm one win away, dude. I can't log off now. I can't log off now. I think they probably heard that whole saying of gotta end on a win. They heard that that saying one too many times and they took it literally like gotta end on five wins, kid. Five wins or GG's. And then before it was seven wins. <laughs> I can imagine in like the beta tests, like or the uh, closed, closed alpha test or like how about 10 wins? H? Yeah, win 10 games. <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and then you can see your rank change and only then. And they're like, bro, that's insane. Seven games, that's way better. Seven wins? If you win seven games in a row and your matches are on average like 10 minutes long, if you can do math, that's definitely a number. It's like 70 minutes. Like that is insane. And that's not gonna happen very often at all. You're gonna have matches that are longer. I've had matches that are like 33 minutes long for one match and we lost <laughs> or we drew on like King's Row. But that is so much investment. Like, I don't know if these games realize it or not, there is some sort of novelty to making a game that makes me feel like I'm not investing my soul into it. It's more of like, it's fun to play. I have a good time. It respects my time. Like games don't respect the player's time anymore, man. They don't do it. They don't do it. And there's other games where it's like, bro, <laughs> okay. There's other games where you want them to disrespect you. <laughs> other games where you want them to disrespect you. In this case, Overwatch 2, I don't want to be disrespected in this manner because it doesn't feel good. And honestly, the main reason why I'm making this video is for nothing else. Like nothing has to change except give me back the top 500 icons. They were unique. Give them back, Blizzard. That's all I care about. Everything else, you can make it as scummy and slime boy as possible. I don't even care anymore. Give me back the top 500 icons. Okay? I got top 100 in season two. I deserve the icon. <laughs> and that's also another thing, and this is very, very niche, the nichiest niche of niches, but they used to give you an icon based on the season you got top 100, and it was unique, it was cool, and I freaking loved it. It was so small, such a small thing to do, but it was just, it was cool. And eventually they were like, you know what, we don't have to make new ones, just go ahead and use like gold guns with like a, a background, and if you get top 100, just make it gold, if not, it's regular. And you can see when they started doing it, they like didn't know what they were doing, and then like the next season, they went ahead and did that process. And then in Overwatch 2, they just said, eh, like, who cares? I care, Blizzard. So I made this ranked hit piece <laughs> to try and get those back. Honestly, I, I wouldn't even play the game if they got them back. I don't think. I just, nah. Ranked is just meh. And it sucks too, because ranked in games like Apex almost seems more meaningful. Like hitting Masters in Apex seems more prestigious than hitting Grandmaster in Overwatch 2. Which is whack, because ranked in Apex is 100% based on who can invest more time. Not getting Masters, but getting Pred. Getting Pred in Apex is like, who can sort of play Apex like a day job? Or have a full pro stack team to play with. Or have two control players as friends. But regardless, ranked in Overwatch 2 doesn't exist. 
Overwatch 2 fundamentally removed rank from ranked. And this is a video. Hopefully you liked it. If you did, I could make more. I could rant. I'm a bit of a ranter. And uh, yeah, have a good day or night. Peace.